Hi everybody, welcome back to Pixel Projects. So this week what we're going to be doing is we're going to be painting with fabric paint on a t-shirt. Now I got this t-shirt so long ago at the dollar store and literally it was just a dollar. So, and I have some fabric paint here at the library. And um, I also have a nice pixelated um, worksheet that I have handy that I've kind of made copies of to have here at the library in case you're interested. I will have copies available of that. And so what I did was, if you can see, I took a t-shirt and, oh, I forgot, I need tape for this project too. So I took a t-shirt and I made a square on the t-shirt. Now I use this underneath, kind of just slid it right in there. Now the trick is, I'm not sure whether I got it centered or not, so it might be a little bit off. In that case, heh, like I said, I'm never perfect. But uh, so I did that and I kind of just traced it with a pencil. So you're gonna need a pencil, a t-shirt, some masking tape or some kind of tape um, to help you map out the square on your t-shirt. You're gonna need a piece of cardboard for the inside of the shirt to keep it stiff. So when you're painting, you'll have something to work against. So I did that and also the paint won't leak to the other side. So I am going to flatten that out and I am going to clip it closed. I had a clip here. Okay, Miss Allison, I'll just use this one. So I put a clip on the top and a clip on the bottom to keep it in place. And so there you go, I have graphed it out. It's a little bit less than an inch for each square. So what I did was I had an old sponge hanging around and I cut a square for the sponge um, and made it the ex almost the exact same size as the squares on the grid. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna kind of free form some black squares on my template. I'm gonna follow the pattern that's here. I mean, just follow the squares so I don't go kind of off. Um, but for the most part, I'm just gonna take my little square sponge which I cut the same size as the squares on my shirt. And I'm going to dip it. And I, I didn't mention too, I used your handy dandy ruler to kind of just make those light lines with a pencil ahead of time. So I just kind of like traced over that uh, template. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of this fabric paint. Now this is just for fabric. I pre-washed my t-shirt so that you don't have to pre-wash your t-shirt before you do this project. And I'm gonna dip my square into the paint. I'm gonna kind of squish it around, making sure it gets totally covered. I am going to, we'll see if I can do this on camera. It's gonna be a little tricky. Um, normally I would just stand up and do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by standing up and doing it, and then I'll show you how it's looking. So you can see what I'm working on. I'm just gonna go kind of random. Now you can also use fabric markers to do this. It looks like already that I'm not doing an even square, but that's okay. You can also fill it in after if you want to with the paint, with the paintbrush. And I kind of like black and white. I think black and white looks really cool. So I think it's gonna look neat. Precise or not precise, that's okay. Now, as the sponge gets wet, it kind of expands a little bit. So you're gonna kind of, you're gonna use a dry sponge, not a wet sponge. Because a wet sponge definitely won't work. Now I have to add more. As you can see what I'm doing already. I've got a kind of, there we go. Now I chose black. You could cho choose any color. There's tons of fabric paints at the store that you could choose. I just squirted paint on the top of my 
sponge, so it's gonna be a little bit wet. All right, so I'm gonna do a few more squares. I'm gonna get it all over my fingers. It's not quite, it's kind of seeping a little bit, so I'm gonna kind of try to do a little bit lighter. Now you can, um, you can go around the edges with the marker too if you want to, to kind of map it out. Here I, you can see it almost looks like a crossword puzzle. I'm trying to get away from the Minecraft uh, pixel projects for a little bit. Doing something a little bit different. Well, it's starting to come together. Check it out. I think I need something in this corner. It looks a little bare. Filling over the edges here. So there are patterns for hearts. If you want to do a heart shape, you could do, probably try to do a star. What else could you do? You could do a Pac-Man. <laughs> I don't know if Pac-Man is still in or not. Probably not. I'm sure there's some retro Pac-Man lovers out there. You could do emojis. Uh, you could just do a checkerboard pattern. If you're into chess, that would be kind of cool too. I just thought of that. A chessboard would be really, really cool. Okay, so you get the idea. Oh no! So you're gonna have to let this dry thoroughly. Uh, and when you're done, if you want to kind of make the squares. Oh no, I got black paint on the side. Oh well, I can do something different with that. Okay. Is this fun? You guys having fun with Miss Allison today? Ah, these pixel projects have been so much fun. Check it out. It's cool. Um, so I'm gonna continue this and I'm gonna come back when I'm done and uh, we can see how it comes out when it's dried. Hi, here I am back again. I kind of filled it in and I was just thinking that maybe if you had a black fabric marker you could fill in your squares a little bit more if you like that more solid look. If you like that sponge paint look, then you would leave it like that. Um, it's up to you. And you could also kind of go across, fill in where the lines are a little bit. But I don't think I'm gonna darken the lines. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my eraser from my pencil and erase the um, pencil marks on my t-shirt. So I'm just gonna kinda play with it a little bit, fill in the squares that I think need a little bit of support, even out some of the ones that didn't print, that didn't uh, stamp very well. And uh, I'm gonna work on that. And I'll see you back in a bit. Hi, yes, I am back here and I, I have finished um, doing the rest of my squares. Uh, I did have like a little bit of a spill on my shirt, a little bit of black paint, and I'm gonna try to get that off, but if not, I'll have to figure out a way to, uh, to hide it somehow. Maybe just have like one square kind of off to the side that is gonna hide the, the mistake that I made. Otherwise, I'm gonna let it dry for four hours and I'm gonna come back and uh, probably tomorrow and uh, we can check out how it came out. I'm gonna take the masking, the tape off the sides and uh, then we'll decide maybe we can add some color to it if we want to. We can add some different color markers if we want a little splash of color in there or something. But otherwise, I kinda like black and white, so we'll see how it comes out. See you soon. Okay, so our pixel shirt is dry. I let it dry overnight. And I'm gonna take off the masking tape, or you can use any kind of tape, really. And there we go. It's kind of neat. I really like how it came out. What do you think? What do you think, Miss Tristan? I think it looks cool. <laughs> yeah. So you can choose to do other colors too, but this is how it's gonna come out. And you can do your own squares any way you want. Just make sure you have your sponges and all your supplies together that were listed in the video, and it should come out great. I think I might put it on right after yeah. this video. Yeah. So, thanks so much for joining me for Pixel Projects. Next week, we'll have something different. Thanks so much.